Welcome to the tutorial on how to send automated personalized emails. I am Utsav Parikh and today I am going to show you how to send automated personalized emails. To start with, you need three applications from Microsoft. They are Excel 2007, Word 2007, Outlook 2007. It is very important that these three applications have the same version. Now you will need a letter or a template that you have already created like I have created over here. Over here I am writing to myself and sending the letter to myself. Now to automate it I am going to mail merge it. To do so, uh, go into mailings in Word, click start mail merge, click on step by step mail merge wizard. You will see a pane opened on the right hand side. Select email messages because we are going to email them, not print them. If you are printing, select letters. Click next. Over here, uh, it will ask you um, from where do you want the message to be retrieved. Over here, we are using the current document, so you have to select use the current document. If you have a template already created, uh, select this. Okay. Click next. Now here you have to give it a data source that is you have to give it a connection to a database or a list of names and emails so it can personalize and automate it for you. Uh, now I have my list of made a name and email over here in Excel. So I'm going to import that Excel sheet in Word. To do so, to connect the Excel sheet, click Browse. I'm going to locate my file Excel sheet. And press open when you are done here it asks you uh, which sheet you want like it has the excel has three sheets three two one whichever sheet has your uh, data on it or information on it like which you want to use in your emails just select them i have it on sheet one so i click ok here it asks me which rows I want to select and use. I only have one row in my data bank over here. Uh, but uh, people will have, like you will have multiple uh, names and emails over here, multiple rows. You can select multiple rows uh, and deselect some if you don't want them to receive your message over here this is the data source that we were talking about you can have multiple data sources you can have multiple excel sheets from which you can retrieve data over here click ok after you are done and you will see the reflection over here now to complete the automation process click next here you will personalize your email I want to add a greeting line like this. I want this dear Utsav to be written by word. So I will select greeting line over here. It asks me which options do I want. Right over here how I want the name to be displayed. Okay. And over here I do I want a comma or a colon or none. So I will select an option and over here this is the, an option if uh, you don't have an email address of that person but uh, sorry you have an email of the person but not the name 
uh, this message will appear now uh, click uh, match fields uh, this over here it's writing dear sir or madam because uh, I have my name in first name so over here I'm going to select name and in last name I'm going to select not matched and I'm going to confirm my email okay email addresses is email that's okay now I click OK and here you see the ref reflection from uh, the Excel sheet that you have Utsa over here and Utsa over here click OK now I will remove dear Utsa from over here because I already have the personalized link over here to add any other options like name or email separately you can select uh, more items uh, like this and select name or email any other fields that you have in the database fields and insert them where your cursor is I will remove Utsa from over here because it will write Utsa for me over here click next and there you go it reflects how it will uh, look like over here you can edit recipient list before you send it and to complete just press next to send the email press electronic mail and select the email or you know whatever category where you have your email whichever column you have in your database I have it in email so I will select email and you can have multiple mail formats that is HTML or plain text or as an attachment over here I am going to send it as an HTML file you know, HTML email and I want to send it to all records so I am going to select all records and press OK and it sends it now to see the reflection of uh, if the message has been sent or not you have to go to outlook now my outlook is not set up currently but you can see the message in the outbox if you don't have it set up if you have it set up it will be sent and you can see it in sent items over here when I open the message I get this message thank you for watching the tutorial I hope uh, you learned a lot from this. Goodbye. Utsav Parikh signing off.